you only have to pay inside your Google Workspace account for the buckets of email that you use. So Peter at itgenius.com is a bucket of email. Bob at itgenius.com is a bucket of email. So you manage the groups with each having their own email. Does that mean you need to create and pay $12 for each new group email that you create? And so we use groups for our permissions inside our account. I'm going to show you what that looks like inside my admin account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my admin account here. And remember your admin account is at admin.google.com. But here inside my admin account, we actually create user groups for our permissions. And so I'm going to open up my groups here and you can see we've got lots of different groups. So for each area of the business, we'll have a group and we use these for permissions. Now, if you'd like to learn about how to actually implement group based permissions inside your business, there's a great training video on our channel called getting your Google Drive permissions right. And if you search for that video, then you will be able to go. There's a full training, 30 minutes, right from start to finish on setting up group based permissions and how you can apply that to shared calendars, shared folders in Google Drive. Everything you need to know is right inside that training video. Now, the question here is, is that actually going to cost an extra license for each group? And the answer is no, you do not get charged for your groups. So when you are actually setting up a new group, effectively they are like an alias in that you don't actually have to pay for any of them. You only have to pay inside your Google Workspace account for the buckets of email that you use. So Peter at itgenius.com is a bucket of email. Bob at itgenius.com is a bucket of email. You only pay each license for a bucket of email, but if you have a group and let's say it's administrators at itgenius.com and that's just a group of people in there even if it has its own email address all that happens is let me show you it's probably easy to show you guys visually let me open it up here jamboard which is one of my favorite tools here okay so we're going to have one bucket of email here for uh, peter and we're going to have one bucket of email here for bob and these are both at itgenius there we go now let's say we create a group and we call it admins admins at your company. Now, if that is just a group, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take each email that comes into your business and it's just gonna pop it in those buckets. It's called a distribution group. But you can also use that for permissions as well. So effectively what we have here, it's kind of like a virtual email address or an alias, but the actual buckets of email are the only things that we're going to be charged for and you know depending on your location it's going to be five bucks or eight or twelve or whatever however many dollars it is that's what you actually get charged for if you like this content please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel now, if you'd like to connect with us hit us up on social media or join our free community group all the links to that are right below this video if you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.